Hello guys and welcome back to TNT Madness. Today we're going to be looking at a double tap cannon. And what a double tap cannon does it is essentially it destroys regen walls by first firing a piece of TNT and sand hybriding and then launching another few, few pieces of sand so that way it, the water will land on the sand and then go into the actual place where the lava is so it'll fall into lava before it can actually regenerate and then turn that into obsidian and since in fa on faction servers obsidian can be destroyed you can then just go ahead and blow through that regen wall like it was nothing and cannons like these are very useful because most people just have regen walls where they just have the regen wall by themselves or they think it's going to protect them from everything or they have a region wall on their outside which is a very bad idea you always want as close to your base as possible and then a couple other walls so this is really good at just getting rid of that one pesky region wall even if you have, even if they have one region wall on the outside and you have a one shot cannon that can't destroy it you can just place down this cannon real quick get through it and then just go ahead and keep firing your one shot. I think it's a really nice cannon that's extremely consistent and quite compact and simple. So anyway, let's have a look at this thing firing in action. So now on to firing this, we've got our cannon here and we've got our wall here and we have got this little thing up here just because when you're firing at point blank range when the TNT or sand hits this the occasionally it will shoot straight upwards and we don't want that but most of the time it doesn't happen so I don't really need this here I just really still have it here from when I was testing so there are two things to worry about with this cannon is the height at which you're firing at so if you have a half block lower than this or technically the same height as this then what will happen is it will blow this up, the sand will hit the back of this plate and then the free sand will stack down the bottom there, which we don't want. So we're going to go one block below so that way the sand will stack slightly lower so when the second bit of sand fires it will hit the top bit, then stack down and then actually destroy the region wall. But the other one may be useful just in case you are actually trying to sand stack inside of region wall. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Maybe you want to get it up maybe so you can destroy it easier. I really don't know but it's just a added feature of this cannon. So if we go around the back here and press the button, we can see TNT is going to dispense. Then it's going to fire out there, fire out at this cannon. Now it's going to hybrid. And now it's going to, as you can see, sand stack, free sand here. And then what happens is the water lands on here, so it goes into this block. And then since the water is in this block, it will then connect with the lava and then turn it into obsidian. So that's that. So now let's also have a quick look at the other one. So if we go ahead and bring this up to this height, then we can go ahead and show the other function, which is pretty much like the other one, but it just allows you to sand stack in the middle. So as you can see, it's going to hybrid the main point, and then it's going to fire inwards. And actually, we still have the obsidian here, but as you can see, it actually stacked on top. But what you'd do now is you go ahead and just hybrid in the middle bit here, or you can even dry shot, because there's technically no water here destroy this and then pound on through the wall and then act like there is nothing there and then just go keep going through. So this cannon I think is a really really solid cannon so let's get into the actual redstone in it. So now on to the redstone. So this cannon is essentially a compressed cannon without the compressor because it's still got the moderately large barrel and can do pretty much everything that a normal compressed cannon can do but it can also double tap, but it just has slightly less range because of a few reasons. So, to start off with, what we have here is our button, which is very important in the placement of this because it means it will activate all of these dispensers, but of course it doesn't have the two-stage compression. We have TNT back here that then pushes all the TNT up here, which just means it's slightly less efficient than most cannons, but it still works really well, but we cannot... We have to have this or else the fundamental cannon will break or else we have to have it a lot bigger. So. What happens after that is, after this TNT goes off, we have this huge delay that goes all the way over to this dispenser here. So this activates this dispenser because it goes through this block and that will activate the dispenser which will then push out TNT into this barrel here. But then we've got a repeater here which will then reactivate all of this. But before any of this happens, it then sends a signal down to here which will then activate all these three pistons at just the right time so that way it can hybrid. But what happens is after this goes through is it will activate all of these dispensers and of course send another line down here so that way it can go all the way down here again without sending another signal down here so it becomes a clock. So it just does it twice but it's really really effective because we had a actual compressor cannon then or compressor style two stage compression then would need 
we would need a repeater here which would then have your main compression here and the main compression here but we can't do that when we're trying to get a signal from way over here so I still think it works really well and it's very important that we have free sand so you could use two sand to pull this off and one sand is pretty much impossible but I just found free sand made it a lot more consistent because you stack a lot higher so you actually stack high um, you stack at the point at which you want to lay down the sand and it just makes it a lot more consistent because if you have four then it will probably still stack free sand most of the time but it just, I just think it makes it more consistent. I've done a lot of testing of this and if you want to do some more testing that's fine but I'm just saying it works extremely well. So there's not much more to this cannon other than you can use it as a hybrid cannon or a sand stacker that can stack free sand at a time. So it essentially is a normal compressed cannon that can hybrid but it also has the added functionality of being a regen buster which is fantastic for destroying quite a lot of walls. So that's pretty much explaining this, it's a very brief explanation but anyway let's get on to something a bit more important which is the tutorial. So now on to the tutorial, what you're going to need is 11 by 6 area but it's technically 5 wide if you add the extra free blocks that you have for this piston bit that is the only way to actually wire up to here without making it longer which is definitely not what you want. So what you're going to need is some building blocks, 23 redstone, 16 repeaters, 27 dispensers, free pistons, a water source block, free slabs, a button, doesn't matter what kind of button, and some sand and of course TNT. So. So we're going to be working from the back to the front, so the first thing we are going to be doing is be going up by three blocks and then placing a button on the front here. So now what we're going to be doing is placing all the dispensers down. So you want to place them too high and go across by six while placing one in the back like so. So you can see we've got five and then six and then you want to do this on the other side. And now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and place down your water but I personally like placing it all the way along the top like so and then I also want to make sure that it's actually six dispensers then want to make sure there's a gap between this and then you can place down your free slabs at the front and I personally just like placing water all the way along here just in case something does go wrong and it might blow itself up but just because it's only because I've had a lot of experience I've just had a lot of times when my cannons have blown up so don't have to you can just have one line of water that goes along the bottom but it's completely fine. So what you want to do next is you want to go ahead and place redstone on top of all of these dispensers. Make sure you don't place it on these blocks or else it will accidentally activate the piston and we're going to be placing a, a repeater on this later on. So what you want to do now is place a block there, a dispenser on top and then you just want to cover up the extra few blocks that are here. Then you want to go ahead and fill up the space here with blocks. Then you want to go ahead and go back by one block and place down some temporary blocks and place down your pistons. You can either leave these blocks or get rid of them. I personally like want to get rid of them just so it looks better. Now you just want to cap it off by placing blocks on top there and then you want to place sand here. The reason we have slabs here is so it's slightly elevated than this area here and also because if the sand falls on it it will break and it won't stuff up the cannon by accidentally blowing it up. So now we're going to be adding the actual hybrid mechanism or connecting this up to the dispenser. So what you want to do is you want to get out your blocks. Go ahead, place a block here, another block here, and then get your repeaters out. So you want to get place these all set to four ticks delay all the way up to this block. And then you want to set this one to two ticks delay. This is the lowest amount of delay we can have before the TNT explodes down here because we want to fire the sand off at the actual wall as quick as possible. So if we go ahead and place redstone there, this will complete the circuit as it will go in here and then out here. So now what we want to do is add the thing for these pistons. So you can place a block here or a block down here, it doesn't really matter, but then you want to just go ahead and place some scaffolding down here until you get to this end block where you want to place a block there and then some sort of staircase just so you can bring the blocks up. So you just want to go ahead and place blocks on the top here too, place redstone on the top and down here. Now you now what you want to go ahead and do is place redstone here and then go ahead and place down nine repeaters all set to four ticks delay until they go to this final block. I know this is only 30 ticks of 36 ticks of delay but it is still enough time where this can go down all the way to here without breaking and that's what the height we want it at because we want it as low as possible so it's easier to stack. It also means we get more, just ever so slight more range out of the TNT that we have. So now all you want to do is go ahead and fill up all of these dispensers with TNT 
and stack this as high up as you want because do realize that you'll be using two, two sand from each of these, so six sand per shot each time and you're going to be using you're going to be using two TNT from each of these and one from this dispenser each time. So anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. You have now finished your hybrid cannon, but you anyway, uh, are hybrid cannon regen buster double tap cannon. But anyway, goodbye from TNT Mad.